I begin this video as I ended the first video on an energy symbol. Actively breathing, feeling and dancing with energy. In it I define energy thus. Energy is the potential of the universes. I suggest that everyone experiences energy but no one knows what energy is and that we have a great guide to the nature of energy in the conservation principle, which I symbolize thus. As those who say humans can conserve, consume, save energy, etc., are in 100% denial of the conservation principle, which is probably the nearest we have to a natural law. They put us all at greater risk. Humans can only work to conserve energy forms. The first video is based on a Google snapshot of New Zealand. It reveals how Anglo-American nations exhibit profound denial of the conservation principle and reject its wisdom. In my planned video on sustainability principle of energy, I will explain why we deny it and why our denial is such a source of great misery. For now, let us be mindful that energy is as bounteous as the universe is and exists in myriad, myriad, continually changing forms. We can usefully observe any one of those forms from a number of perspectives. Here is an analogy. We can usefully observe the human body from a range of points of view. Each point of view offers valuable insights and each is complementary and insufficient. You probably know the wonderful tale of the six blind men who each felt a different part of an elephant. A tree, a fan, a snake, a rope, a wall, a spear. Similarly, we can usefully observe an object from a number of perspectives, including its thermal, gravitational, electromagnetic, chemical, nuclear, radiant, dark and other properties. We know that the ear or the tail are of the elephant, but are not the elephant. Likewise, energy can be seen to have these properties, but none are energy. However, see how our schools teach their there is a basket of stuff called thermal energy, kinetic energy, potential energy, electrical energy, etc. And see how very often they teach there are just two forms of energy, potential or stored, kinetic or movement. They confuse energy forms with the properties of energy. They obscure the fact that energy is the potential of the universes. It is more helpful to, for instance, talk of exploring energy from an electrical perspective or a thermal perspective. It's more helpful to speak of an actual potential or non-actual potential or if you like, realized potential and non-realized potential. And what does potential mean? In other words, it is anything that is and anything that could be. When we talk of the potential, which is energy, we are really speaking of enormous, fast, immense, colossal, possibly immeasurable potential. What we experience in any moment is just a trace, trace, trace aspect of the total potential, a whisper of the energy possible in the form of sound, a twinkling of the energy possible in the form of light, a faintest whiff of the energy possible in the form of perfume, a merest movement of the energy possible in the form of kinetics, a briefest sparkling of the energy possible in electrical forms. Let us briefly explore the potential in a drop of water. It has been manifest so we can see, taste and feel it. It is neither frozen nor vapour, so we know it has a temperature between 0 and 100 degrees centigrade. Using gadgets such as electron microscopes, we can detect the presence of potent electric charges and great movement in the atoms. With their electrons travelling at well over 100,000 miles an hour. We know the droplet is a most fleeting phenomenon. Its form is changing even as we observe it. Its constituent water molecules may have arrived on this planet this year, or they may have been here billions of years. If you drank a drop, you may be sharing atoms in the water that passed through Aristotle and Jesus and King Ahsoka. And its potential varies with its position in the universes. Imagine it is suspended on a leaf high upon a mountain. It may evaporate into water vapour and later condense into clouds. It may fall and become part of a river that washes a mountain away, or fertilises a field, or carries the seed of a giant tree, or cools a nuclear reactor so it can generate electrical products for driving all manner of our devices. We are each of the amazing potential of the universes, which is energy. 
We are each energy manifest, realized and actualized. We have the capacity to use energy to transform. We eat, drink and breathe, thus we are sustained and enabled. Thus, for instance, I have the potential to be a school janitor and know what, who knows what potential I may have in that capacity. Take this pencil I find lying on the floor. I can enable a great range of possibilities from the universal potential. I am the potential which throws the pen into the waste bin and sends it to the city dump for the rest of its existence in the form of a pencil. I can leave it on the floor where someone may trip on it, fall and be transformed into a cripple. I can use energy to lift the pen up onto the desk and now has altered potential to fall down on the floor again. Record on paper a great mathematical equation that sets dancing great questions in the mind of a student. Copy a Tesla drawing that inspires in the student a vast new array of technology. Draw positive space out of negative space, so the student is able to understand paradox and physics with all their being, not just their intellect. dancing and smiling. Be balanced on a finger so the student feels the trace balances that enable life to exist. Or stood on end like this and inspire types of new rockets or weapons. Or become a source of meditation and stillness and peace. You can see how the potential of the universe is manifesting great possibilities, even in this simple pen. And if that is not enough potential, then here is a mind-expanding thought. Our intellect is but a trace-trace element of our being. There are powerful elements of our psyche that are capable of transcending thought and embracing paradox. The frontiers of our spirit are also its centre, and we can realise the enormous potential that exists when our minds and matter, which is energy, become as one. It could be, for instance, that in the instant of observation, the atom is realised in a certain form from a vast range of possibilities. And then when you get beyond quantum field theory to unified field theory, you try to even grasp the nature of that quantum field, which is already abstract, and you end up with something that's pure being, absolutely beyond the intellect to even describe. Pure abstractness, pure potentiality, pure... Physics have tried to grasp onto physical reality, to understand what it's really made of, what are the core building blocks of life. At the basis of it all, life, the universe, slips through your fingers. And you come up with something that's increasingly abstract, increasingly abstract, to come to the realm of pure abstraction. And that's what the unified field is. It's pure abstract potential, pure abstract being, pure abstract self-aware consciousness, which rises in waves of vibration to give rise to the particles, the people, everything we see in the vast universe. Finally, one more odd and wonderful thing about energy, even though we each have a different notion of what energy is, we do have agreed ways of measuring energy. The most common unit of energy is the joule in our Anglo-American world. For instance, you are releasing about a joule of energy in the form of heat every hundredth of a second as you sit there viewing this video. Your brain is using about a joule of energy every tenth of a second. I probably used about a tenth of a joule picking the pen up and putting it on the desk, and who knows how that changed its ultimate potential. Most of the potential of the universe is immeasurable, because we mere mortals cannot imagine it. However, this still leaves an enormous range of energy manifestations that we can measure, and a bounteous array of options we can enjoy. In summary, remain mindful of the great conservation principle. Enjoy the compassionate spirit required to realize the wonderful potential, which is energy.